Hi, welcome to Hebrew Perspectives. Um, my name is Rabbi Roy Johnson, and today we want to talk a little bit about Yom Kippur. Um, we'll talk a little bit about fasting and praying and teshuva. In the Talmud it reads, Accept the fast of your people and perceive their prayers, for their tears are their drink and their sighs are their bread. That is from the Selikos prayer. The Talmud states that partaking of food on the day before Yom Kippur, in preparation for the next day's fast, is reckoned as the equivalent of denying ourselves nourishment on Yom Kippur. So as we near Yom Kippur, um, we'll have a festive meal before that fast starts. And that festive meal is like, it's considered like a fast. Now, denying our needs is not always the greatest virtue, and withdrawing from all the pleasures of life is not necessarily saintliness. What is important is that when we do that we do partake of the good things of life, as we do so with a sanctity and with spirituality, and that befits us as human beings. All of life can be sacred. Everything that we do, we can make sacred. There does not need to be any distinction between secular and the holy. We can bring it all together. All the good of life can be enjoyed with gratitude towards God. By utilizing the good in our service to God, we have elevated that status to holiness. Now, Rabbi Nachman of Breslov interpreted the verse in Psalms 38 and 19. It reads, I admit my sin. We're talking about Teshuvah now. I worry about my transgression as meaning and ruminating about old mistakes and about and about the past can in itself be sinful. Now, I realize that as a human being, I can hardly escape ever doing wrong. Yeah, I, I can try to live a sinless life. I can try to do the right thing, but I'm going to make a mistake here and there. And the purpose of that painful sensation that we have called guilt is to deter us from ever having to feel that guilt, that pain that comes on with that, and that, that, that what makes us guilt, guilty. And so that should, that should stimulate us and make us to do the proper thing, to make amends for the wrongs that we have done and the things that we have done. However, once I have made those proper amends and I've done it with kavanah, with proper intent, then I'm able to put my past behind me. Now, if I continue to sit there and think about my past mistakes, all it's, done, all it's doing is being destructive. It's, it's making it harder for me to be able to go on and do what is necessary in our normal, everyday life. And that interrupts what God's will is for us. So to allow that to happen is actually another sin. And it's probably the greatest sin of all, because we want to be in God's will. To have true faith in God's forgiveness is to realize that God completely removes our sins when our repentance is sincere. We should then be able to move forward with joy and with, and with vigor to fulfill our mission in life. Now, before Yom Kippur starts, you'll see a Hebrew Perspectives post on here on Facebook um, with a prayer that is normally said on the Erev of Yom Kippur, on the evening before Yom Kippur. And so watch for that later on, and uh, thank you for watching, and uh, may God bless you and shine upon you.